Well, that's the thing you've got to ask yourself about anyone who's in the uh, in the world of music or acting. Or, I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of it's just a deep need for love because most artists hate themselves. You know, there's just such a deep level of self-loathing and creatives. I mean, that's why so many of them are alcoholics and addicts. It's not because, you know, there just happen to be a lot of people that are alcoholics and, you know, who are creatives. It's because those are the people with lower self-esteem. And it's the quickest way that you can get instant approval and gratification. So I think that's the big issue is that everyone just goes, I want to be famous, I want to be loved, I'm not going to put in the work, I'm just going to get that instant gratification because I can't feel good about myself unless someone's clapping or laughing or buying my record or telling me that I'm great. It's hard to wrap your head around, isn't it? Because often I think, like, why don't I just be a lawyer? Like, why am I choosing the most difficult path for myself? Is it that rewarding? Like, is it that amazing? And... In those moments, I think no. But then, when I look at seek.com, they like the thought of the alternative is so horrific. Failure is kind of what we have to live with, really. And so much art depends on failure in a lot of ways. Like only quite recently have I come to reconcile the idea of failure as a kind of beautiful thing, really. You know? There's, there's, like, there's so many positives. That's the thing, and I, I feel like we're the court jesters of the modern society, and that's not a bad place to be.